this video, we're going to look at an example where we want to find the area of the region or regions bounded by two curves. Again, as I've said in all of the other videos about the area caught between curves, is that it's imperative that you graph the curves that are involved with it to see where the region is and then also see what the functions or the mathematical relations are doing over the interval. So I've graphed f of x equal to 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x, and that is this curve in black. And then I've also graphed g of x is equal to negative x squared plus 2x. So that's a parabola going down, so that's this curve that is in pink. Now notice there aren't any intervals that are given to me for this problem. So when I graph it, I look to see whether they have a region that's enclosed um, with the two curves. Here we can see as we look across that the curves intersect at this point and then there's a region that's enclosed up until the next point in, that they intersect at. And then they do that same process again where they intersect at another point before they go off in their unbounded directions. So there's actually two regions that we're interested in finding here. And this is an example where sometimes they say the curves are intertwined. So I have this region that's enclosed between the two curves as well as this region that's enclosed between the two curves. And I want to find the areas of both of those regions and then add those together to get the overall area. Now as I look from left to right holding the subrectangles vertically, I see that the black curve is on the top and the pink curve is on the bottom until you get to this point. And then after that, the pink curve is on the top and the black curve is on the bottom until you get to the next point of intersection. But it's not hard to work with them in terms of the equations the way they're set. And running my subrectangles vertically, I would be dxing it. So I would want my equations to be y equals an expression in x's, which these are. So that's what I want to do. I want to set it dx. But the thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take and do one definite integral that has the black curve on the top and the pink curve on the bottom and then finish it off there and then add to that the definite integral where the pink curve is on the top and the black curve is on the bottom. So our first portion is the definite integral. So going from left to right, the first point of intersection that these have are at an x value of negative 2 to 0 of the black curve again remember is the 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x that's the one that's on the top and remember we go top minus bottom when we're doing dx so minus and the pink curve is the negative x squared plus 2x dx for that region and we're going to add to it the definite integral from 0 until they meet and intersect again at the point where x is 2. But here the pink curve, the g of x, is on the top of the region minus the cubic function 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x, and that's dx. So for each of these, we're going to need to distribute to get rid of the parentheses with the minus sign, combine like terms, and then we're going to integrate, plug in the top number, minus plug in the bottom number. We're going to need to do that for this first part plus, because we're adding the two regions together, the second part. So I have the integral from negative 2 to 0 of 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x and then plus x squared minus 2x 
and that's dx for that first part. And then we're going to add that to the duct then integral from 0 to 2 of negative x squared plus 2x minus 3x cubed plus x squared and then plus 10x. And that's dx. Okay, now we're going to combine some like terms first. So I have the definite integral from negative 2 to 0 of 3x cubed. And the minus x squared and the plus x squared, they're going to com um, combine the like terms to be 0. And that gives me a negative 12x dx. And then plus my definite integral from 0 to 2 of, again, I have a negative x squared and a positive x squared. Putting this in descending order, that's negative 3x cubed, and then a plus 2x and a plus 10x is plus 12x dx. Now we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus to find these definite integrals. We're going to find the antiderivative of the integrand, and then plug in the top number minus plug in the bottom number for this one, plus do the same thing for this one. So I have add 1 to the exponent, divide by that, 3 fourths x to the fourth minus add 1 to the exponent gives me an exponent of 2, divide by that gives me 6x squared. And that's from negative 2 to 0. Plus, here we have a negative 3 fourths x to the fourth plus uh, 6x squared. Remember, add 1 to 1 is an exponent of 2. When you take 12 and divide by 2, you get 6. And that's from 0 to 2. Plug in the top number. So that's 3 fourths times 0 to the fourth minus 6 times 0 squared minus, plug in the bottom number. So that's 3 fourths times negative 2 to the fourth minus 6 times negative 2 squared and then plus we have negative 3 fourths plug in the 2 times 2 to the fourth plus 6 times 2 squared and then minus plugging in our zero. So negative 3 fourths times 0 to the fourth plus 6 times 0 squared. Now when you go through and you do all of this arithmetic, you should come up with a overall value of these two values added together of 24 for the area of the region caught between these two curves.